The London borough of Greenwich under the gaze of the city and on the banks of the River Thames, an area that both the Prime Minister and the Chancellor have lived in and know well. But what do people here make of Liz Truss's speech today? At this bookshop on the High Street, Pensioner Bill has popped in to buy a map. But does he think the Prime Minister is heading in the right direction and will be able to grow the economy amid turbulent times? Don't think so. I do not think so. To be honest with you, for some reason, the rich getting richer, the poorer get poorer. I mean, that's a bit, that's, that, that's it in a nutshell, you know. So you don't think that it's going to work? No, I don't think so. I would like it to work, but I'm afraid to say no, I don't think so. Also browsing the bookshelves, mum and daughter Monica and Doreen. I'm actually furious that she has the audacity to say that she's doing it for the benefit of the country. She's not. She's doing it for the few. I said I pity the person who take over from the previous because the place is in a state and it's getting worse and worse. And I would like to say give her a chance because I, but I don't know. I think she's admitted that we face troubling times ahead, yes. but there will be light at the end of the tunnel. But that's what all the Prime Minister, Boris said that, there's, you know, there will be troubling times. But the troubling times come with the Conservative. Down the road at the local chippy, over lunch, trainee solicitor Diana Marsh told us the contents of the speech are hard to digest. I think the Tories just cannot be relied on to get us out of this recession when they all just gun to get the people, their mates, better tax cuts, um, more money into the bank accounts and this whole trickle-down economy that they've got going on, it's just not working. So from the chip shop to the bookshop, it seems the people of Greenwich have yet to share the Prime Minister's vision for the country, questioning whether or not her plans will benefit us all. Catherine Nash, 5 News, Greenwich.